we've been blessed. We, we've been fortunate in life, you know, with health and with, you know, our family and business and racing. And, and to me, and I think I can speak for all of us, it you know, feels good to be able to give back. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Our whole life has been a challenge, you know, with business and racing. Drag racing is a series of R&D, 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 R&D. And, and the racing for cancer kind of went together because it's a research and development issue, needs a lot of money for research and development. But once they find something that does work, it's, it's just like a miracle. It's still a very scary disease, but bottom line is, is you know, the research and development that's happening hourly uh, across this world every day is moving toward what we all look for, a cure. Today, when I think of cancer, I'm even thinking more of hope. In 2003, the Coughlin family, owners of Team Jegs Racing and Jegs Mail Order High Performance Auto Parts, launched an ongoing effort to generate money for cancer research and to raise awareness of how to prevent and deal with the dreaded disease. It's not only in the world, but it's in our family too, and we thought it was a way for us to help give back to the community, give back to the world, give back to our family too, if God forbid you know, we ever need to be treated as well. But uh, it's uh, something near and dear to our hearts and thought that might be kind of exciting and a good thing to, to, to do. There's never been any question that the Coughlins are passionate about racing and winning. They also have a passion about trying to make the world a better place. It's a good feeling to see positive things happen to people and help make somebody's life better. Knowing the fact that we're trying to help people, that's probably the biggest thrill for me. We started the foundation as an avenue for the five of us and our families to contribute and support great research and great facilities. And we're real excited with the Jegs Foundation to help you know, generate dollars uh, from our race winnings and corporate earnings to uh, contribute to research and development. It's, it's a neat, neat opportunity. We've been to the hospital and we've, and we've seen the passion and we've seen the excitement in, in the doctors that, uh, that are doing the research. And to hear them talk about you know, how they're working to find this little bit of information to try to cure something is exactly the way the guys in the engine shop talk where, you know, just by milling off this piece of aluminum maybe in the intake manifold and then you gotta go put it on the dyno and, and test it and, and see if it really helped out or not. I mean, it's, it's really fun to be a part of uh, not only trying to uh, help the cause but, uh, you know, working with some of the people that get so excited about their work. Jake's contributes a portion of all of its race winnings and a portion of its corporate profits to two of the nation's finest cancer fighting facilities, the James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute in Columbus, Ohio, and University Hospital's Ireland Cancer Center in Cleveland. With unfailing commitment and a self-styled Racing for Cancer Research logo, Jegs is bringing cancer education and awareness to NHRA Powerade drag racing fans everywhere. We travel 23 races a year. We see many, many faces uh, in the crowds that pass by, and um, you know one of one of our goals is to promote the fact that there is research, there is an avenue for you, the fan, for you, the racer, for you, the uh, family member, spouse, or the person with with the disease uh, to get help. There's been several times when we've been at the races this year and there would be folks come up to the pit area and ask about it, ask if they can have a pamphlet, a decal, a pin. Yeah, there's been a lot of excitement about it this year. Well, it's amazing. I mean, you'll be at the racetrack and somebody will come in and they'll say, you know, this, this is what happened to my dad or my mom. And I mean, they, they start tearing up and, and I feel the same way because I know what I went through and what, what Karen's gone through. and. Uh, Nikki, our chef, has had had some some incidents with cancer, and um, it's pretty serious. One of the main goals is to try and take people who aren't even thinking about it and see the ribbon on the front of the car, or see the sticker on the side of the car that the Jegs Foundation Racing for Cancer Research. They see that, and hopefully, they say, "Maybe I'll contribute to that, or maybe maybe I'll put some money towards a local hospital or." maybe to the two big places that we give to. Oh, I've had people come up to us at the racetrack and want to hand us checks, you know, and I'm like, wow, that's, that's strong. In just a very short time, the Jegs Foundation's Racing for Cancer Research has already begun to make quite an impact. When we started the Jegs Foundation, 
I never dreamed it would be the size that it is today. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal the way it's grown. Well, there's really no end in sight. I don't think, I think this thing could go forever and, and uh, you know, generate a lot of money towards the research and development of healing people. And you don't know whether you'll be one of those people that's going to need that help someday, you know. The short time we've had it going on has it's been astronomical. It's been, it's been real good. There's quite a few people that actually have the JEGS Foundation cancer ribbon sticker on their cars, on license plate frames, on back bumpers. Uh, I even seen them on front windshields. And they're very thankful too and they think it's just a really neat deal that you guys have put together this organization and taken monies from the company, monies from racing and, and putting it towards it to try and help the cure. It's, uh, it, it's neat to see the support. I've even got a ribbon right on the side of my helmet and every time I put it on you know, it reminds me of what we're standing for and the efforts we are working towards as a family. It's not just JEGS. I mean, it's millions and millions of people who are interested in what we're interested in. I don't really feel as though that we are going to be the persons who fix the world, but I do believe that between JEGS and the, and the rest of the people who are interested in the same thing that we're interested in, we'll fix a lot of, a lot of cancer.